And yeah, I'm going to give you cold, muddy water. It's not going to be warm and clean and bubbly. And we're going to get our hands wet way above our wrists. And we're going to make sure we get the clay wet. We should probably see little splashes out here, but I don't need to. This is too much water. This is too much water. Just four flat fingers will be enough water at one time. I start out like an arm wrestling match with my hands above the clay, because if I do this, my hands are wiggling and it's going to be really hard to hold still. And I'm going to squeeze in from the right and the left without pushing, lifting up or pushing down. How far do I start? Like literally my, just hovering above it, as close as I can get without touching it, because I don't want my hand to wiggle like this. And I'm pushing my hands, I'm pushing my thumbs, and I'm pushing this knuckle into the crooked knuckle. And that's the cone. And this is what I mean by the dress slipped. Your hands are too low if it looks like this. You should never see the tip of the cone. And then I'm going to tuck my thumb under and this part of my thumb. See if I'm here like this, I go like this, but I'll take my hand away. This part of my thumb right here is on the tip of the cone. This hand's here. My fingers and my thumbs are still pushing hard together. I'm I'm tucking in my pelvis and pushing my feet down and keeping my spine and my shoulders neutral. Don't put my chin in or crane my neck. Keep everything neutral. And this is the cupcake with, on the counter. The part of the clay I need to get centered first is down here. I could get this part centered in three seconds already. It's hardly wiggling compared to down here. But if I focus on this and I try to work my way down, it's like trying to put up the second story of the house before you pour the foundation. It's not going to work. We need to start down here. So what I can do is grab my sponge and I'll wring it out under water so there's not it's not full of clay particles. And house rules are we don't shake our hands on the floor behind us like a dog on the beach. We're going to shake our hands over here, knock them off over the bucket. But I'm not going to take my hand and go like this because my hand would just bounce. But if I grab my wrist, and I'm going to push directly from east to west, or like from 3 to 9 o'clock. I'll push in here. And now my finger is wobbling a little less than before, but it's still very wobbly. What do I want it to feel like when I touch right here? This should feel the same. It shouldn't feel any different. So I'm going to always do that. One cone, one dome, and then I come in at 3 o'clock, and now I'm going to go back and forth between a cone and a dome. Like when I breathe, I have to inhale and exhale, or the breathing doesn't go so well if I only inhale and then exhale. Same thing with centering. It's not going to work if I spend five minutes trying to make a cone. So I'm going to make a cone, and I usually I wouldn't take away my hands, but it looks like this. And then I'm going to make a dome, and then I'm going to make a cone again, and then I'm going to make a dome again, and eventually my hands are going to get dry. I'm going to have to go back, and the clay might get dry. Anytime when I do that, that's when I take a break, I grab my wrist and I come in, I push in here at 3 o'clock. And now I'm going to go back and forth again, I'm going to make a cone, I'm going to make a dome, I'm going to make a cone, I'm going to make a dome. When I do get it centered, I've got to make sure I don't let go really fast. If I let go really fast, it'll wobble just because I let the pressure go too sudden. I need to let it go slowly and even. Again, I can come in here every time. When I'm getting close, I'll know because I'll put my finger here and it'll feel the same as here. And I'm getting closer. Is it perfect yet? No. When it is, I won't want to finish in the cone shape. I want to finish in the dome shape. So that's what we'll practice for the first five or ten minutes until someone has a question about the rest I'm going to show you. The next part is to make the, the cylinder. And there's two steps to that. One is we're going to find the center of the clay. And so we wouldn't want our finger to wiggle or wobble. So I squeeze my thumb against my finger and bend it over and grab my wrist. So I don't want my arm to move. I don't want my finger to wiggle. And I'm going to find a place where my finger doesn't do this. I want it to be right in the middle where it's still. And I want to make sure this is pretty flat on the top. And I'd almost like a sharp corner out here because I'm going to show you how to measure how thick the bottom should be without using a needle tool or any weird elaborate thing to decide. I want my bottom to be this thick. So I'm going to put my finger on top of my other finger and I'm going to go like this. I'm going to make a mark. What 
I'll do it again. So even if the corner was this sharp, it'll make it easier, right? Because then when I go like this, I know where the mark will be. So now I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to push down to the mark is equal to the height of the clay, which is this much less than the bottom. And then I stop. And now if it's big like this, I like to use my thumbs. If I was making something small like this, I might, I'll show you next time, I'll do it with my fingers. So I want to just pull out sideways after that. The first thing I make is the bottom of the pot. And I need to decide how wide I want to make it. I'm going to show you how to make a bowl tonight first. And so I bring it out like this, and you can see how it looks fat like a donut on the side. But I don't want it to go out. If it's flaring out a little bit, I'm going to put my hands on both sides and make it go straight up and down like a garden wall. And then I'm going to take my fingers and I'm going to make it level on the top. And then I'm going to make it smooth and flat and level and dry on the bottom. And now these fat sides I can lift up and I can make it taller. If I pulled it out and the sides are really thin, I couldn't make it any taller. There'd be no clay to lift up. So that's why we want to make something that looks like a donut with a floor in it. And again, for our ladies with nails, I'm going to give you a tool. I don't have one over here, but imagine. I don't think I do. Oh, here, yes. So if you don't get one of these, you're going to ask me, but you're going to hide your fingernail behind here for the part I'm getting ready to do. And you're going to use your knuckle on this side if you have long fingernails, and this will hide our fingernails. And we can also use this to make the hole in the middle instead of our finger, because that's the other thing we for sure can't do with long fingers. So I'll show that next time. <laughs> yeah, it'll just catch because they're so sharp. Okay. And so then I'm going to come down here, I'm going to squeeze at the bottom, then I'm going to stop squeezing. And I'm just going to lift my fingers up and like the elevator from the par uh, you know, parking garage to the penthouse, the elevator isn't smaller on the top floor. It's the same size as when I got in at the basement. So my fingers never, I don't ever lift and squeeze like this and make it, make it skinnier at the top and fat at the bottom. I squeeze down here and then I lift up like this. And you can see I'm only using this part of my fingers to that kind of, but you'd have to hold this tool like this. And you'd have to do it like this if you have fingernails. I'll keep slowing down my wheel as I go. I usually slow it down three or four times. Again, I'm going to squeeze a little bit at the bottom, then I'm going to stop squeezing. I'm going to lift all the way until I get to the top. And I don't lift past the top, because if I lift past the top, I'll end up making it skinnier like the edge of a knife. And I'm going to make it level every time I get to the top. So once I get the can made, I'm ready to make it into a bowl. This is all I would really like to, you to learn to do tonight. You'll probably make a pot another shape trying to make the cylinder. <laughs> and that's fine. And if you like it, that's fine, right? And a plate's not going to be an easy thing to make. And tonight, if you make anything plate-like, it'll probably be more like a saucer or a tapas dish, right? You're not going to make it. Because we need a great big ball of plate.